Blue, come with me. Blue. Um, I don't think this is what you're supposed to do. What, you don't want to be in the cage? Blue. Well, Blue, what are you, you jump scared me? Good day friends, today I'm here to do the Jurassic World event and I know you guys have already seen me wear the rewards. I've already done this event but I don't think I did it right the last time. Basically what I did last time, which you can do if you want, if you just want to rewards and you don't want to make a game or you cannot do Roblox Studio, you can just go into the game which I will put somewhere in the description. You can just sort of guess the answers and then you will still get the rewards. And that's kind of what I did last time, but it just felt wrong. There are three lessons, three different things that you can learn how to do in the Roblox Studio, which is the Roblox Game Maker. Uh, and let's just, I'm just going to click begin challenge. So if you don't know how to start this, you have to be on the computer. Then you have to go to create at the top and then you have to click create new game and you have to pick this one, Volcanic Island. Uh, I already did one last time that I barely did anything with. Because I didn't understand the events. So that's, I'm just going to use, do that one again. Then you have to click edit, of course, and then you can start working on it. Bada bam, loading please, wait, what? Okay, it's really cool. And then of course you have the side where I was just checking, which will, t which will give you every lesson. So lesson one, escape the volcano. For blue to get to the boat, you'll need to complete all three lessons in this challenge. We've marked the starting point on the right, where each of the lesson takes place. Okay, so start lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, and then there's a house and a star, and I don't know what those are. You have to play test. You have to play test it. Okay, so you have to play test by clicking this tiny uh, start button with an, uh, a guy in it. And then you start spawn on this green block. Okay, let's see if it works. Yeah. Okay, so you can play test to see if uh, when people get into the game how it's what it's like for them. So I'm now testing it out. And basically there's no bridge. So when people get into the game... They die. They get killed by the lava, of course, because it's a volcano. So, of course, they die. So, we have to make the bridge. I think that's what we have to do. So, I click stop because you have to change it when you're not in the game. Um, let's see. Time to earn a badge. Wait, what? Oh, I can already... It says I can already do the first quiz. I already know enough for the first quiz. Okay, let's go. So this is the actual game, which I will put in the description. If you don't want to do any of the game making stuff, you just want the rewards, you can just go in there and you can just sort of guess the answers. So you get into the game and it says I'm ready for challenge number one. So it says I already completed the rest because I guessed them. But this time I want to really know the answers. Okay, challenge number one. Which button lets you play test your game? That was this one. Oh, A, you have to click A. That's correct. When playtesting, you should press the stop button to make changes in your game. Uh, yes, stop first before making changes. There are secret ways of getting free Robux. No, no, there's no free way of getting Robux. That was it, just three questions. Okay, okay, so I did the first one of the six challenges and lesson one challenge two. This is kind of confusing that you have to switch between the site and the game and the game that you're making. In the game, select the plank and press F to focus the camera. What does F do? Select the plank and press F. Whoa. Oh, that makes it zoom in or something. F. Oh, okay. So if I select something, F. Okay, I didn't know that. If I select blue, I see blue. F. <gasps> what? There's actual blue in this game. That's pretty cool, I think. Okay, so I think you they want you to make a bridge out of this. Um, Let's see. Turn off collisions snap to grid i don't know what that means i don't know what that means but let's try it out so if i rotate this woo, okay all right i guess it works i don't know i'm so conf i'm so bad at making roblox games let's see anchor it that's important you have to anchor it which you can do here otherwise when you play it will just fall down okay okay i'm just going to try to get ahead of the challenge can i am i just allowed to make it like this Am I just allowed to go like this? That I have a bridge now, or would that not count? Is that not the bridge you want me to make? Uh, it's not the most beautiful bridge. It's also made out of wood. You know what? You know what? I don't want it to be wood. I don't want it to be wood. This is there's the volcano 
is smelting everything. What would not smelt? Um, plastic would smelt. Wood would burn. Maybe a type of a rock? Ice. What if I made an ice bridge? That would be pretty cool. An ice bridge. Okay, it's now an ice bridge. It's now a bridge made of ice. And I'm also going to make it transparent, okay? I don't know. I don't. It lo doesn't look like ice enough. My bridge doesn't look icy enough, you guys. Wait a minute. Yes. There we go. There we go. Then you change the color to like this. Now I think it really looks like ice. Yes, look at this. Cold feet, cold feet. But it's better than walking in the lava. It's better than walking in the lava. Okay, I've made a bridge out of ice to get over the lava. That's crazy. Okay, blue. Uh, do I get blue back into the cage? I don't know what the point of the game is. Blue, come with me. Blue. Um, I don't think this is what you're supposed to do. What, you don't want to be in the cage? Bl well, blue, what are you? You jump scared me. What are you doing? What? Oh my god. Okay, she cannot go in here. I don't know why. I thought this this looks like it's supposed to be for her or for Rexy because it's pretty big. Oh, it's like how to upload it to Roblox. Let's see. Select file. Click new place. Okay, so it's upload. Oh, so that's about uploading. I'm not going to upload it to Roblox yet, I think. Your next job is to create a second plank so that Blue can get to the first checkpoint. I, I, I don't really have a plank. Anyway, I kind of made it into an ice ice plank. Sorry, then you have to just copy it and paste it again. Okay, I'm really bad at this. Wait, first, I think the best way to do it is to first make it small. Then wait until it sort of sits there. Right. Yes, perfect. And then, oh, it goes down. I think it, it would still work, but I want it to go up. Oh, I don't know if this works. Is this... Does it work, you guys? I think it will work, but let's try it anyway. Let's try it anyway. Let's see if we can get blue to the first checkpoint. I'm going to click test. Blue, don't slip on the ice, okay? Don't slip on the ice. It's very thin ice. It's melting because of the lava. So come with me, quick. Come with me. Come with me. Oh, so slippery. So slippery. Okay, come with me, blue. Blue. Okay, we're going to the first checkpoint. It sort of works. Okay, it's good enough. It's good enough for a video, okay? There we go. Blue's on the checkpoint. So I think I did it. I'm pretty sure I did it. Let me check the site. It says publish your game every 10 to 15. I mean, I can understand that you want to save it every time. So whatever you made doesn't get lost. But why would you why would you upload it every time? Okay, time to earn another badge. I'm ready. I'm ready for another badge. This is tw challenge number two. How often should you pu publish your projects to Roblox? It says every 10 to 15 minutes. But I think you should just save it every 10 to 15 minutes. If a part falls down when you play your game, what feature can you turn on so it stays in the air? Uh, anchor it. Anchor it. What would you turn off so you can move one object through another object? Collisions. There it is. That's correct. Yes! Okay, challenge number two complete. So basically it says you need to add traps. Coding and scripts. Oh, I'm not good. I want to be a builder. Okay. I want to be a builder I don't want to be a, a scripter. I think this is a question. I think I think when it's like thick like this I think it's a question. So coding. What is coding? It's the process of creating instructions for computers to follow and Roblox uses Lua Okay, those are things that you have to remember. I think because it's like bold So that might be a question Okay, find the red cube near the second checkpoint. So you go through the volcano like this and then like this. Okay, so this is the health block. Okay, so and when you touch the block, you lose health. Okay, okay, I, I know. I understand this lesson. I understand the lesson. Okay. Oh, what? That was quick. Okay, time for my next badge. To test your script, you have to click play. That's correct. What coding language does Roblox use? We know that. That's Lua. A script object... Holds lines of code that do specific tasks. Yes, right? That's what you said. I'm pretty sure. Yes! Okay, we're halfway there. Okay, so basically it wants me to change the damage from 5 to 20. You have to go where I was before to the... Um, okay, what was I? Trap part, script, then open it, and then change the damage to... That's all I think I have to do, I'm pretty sure. Let me try that out. Okay, now it does more damage, probably. Whoa! 20 damage. Now it does 20 damage. You can change it, but remember, everyone only has 100 health. So if you change it to 100, it kills you right away. 
What if you change it to 99 damage? Then it doesn't kill you, but you will only have one health left. Okay, so next up, what they want me to do is take that. So I'm going to copy that damage thing and put it in this thing. So just sort of put it in there, I think. Let's see. Okay, that totally works. And it hurts. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, I got it to work. I'm about to become a pro game maker, you guys. There's a side quest, it says. You can create a healing part. And what do you have to do? Maybe you have to change it so that it doesn't say damage, but it says healing. Or instead of that it says I do 20 damage, it does minus 20 damage. Yes, minus, you have to change it to minus. Okay, damage, minus. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so if I want to make a healing block, for instance, I would have to go like this and make it so that it heals. I'm going to make minus 10 is a nice one. Let's do that one. Um, and because it's a healing, I also want to make it green. So let's see if that works. Will I finally be a pro Roblox game maker? Okay, so first off, this one hurts, right? This one's hurting me. So then when I'm almost dead, one more. Then when I'm almost dead, I can go on this. <gasps> it totally works. Check it out. It's healing me. Yes. Time for another badge. Okay, challenge number four. Local number of players is five. It's an example of, a, I think, a variable. I'm get, I don't... What? Did we have... Did we get that? It's correct, but I don't remember you saying that. How many health points do players start a game with? A hundred. Number type. Variables can be used to keep track of which of the following pieces of information. Variables. So those are things that change, right? Um, so let's see. So players' names don't change. Uh, how many seconds are left in the game change? So that one, I guess. I got it right. Yes! Lesson three, terrain and fireballs. You can actually make literal balls, like beach balls. <laughs> and it will rain fireballs. That would be so awesome. But I have no idea how to do that. Oh, you want me to make things that people can jump on. I see. I want to get to the other side. There we go. Easy peasy. Okay, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Okay, you want it to be rock or slate? I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work. Is this good? This is pretty bad, I think. Oh, oh no, it's not too easy. Look, I put it way too far. <gasps> wait, this lava is way bigger than I thought it was. <sighs> oh, wait, I didn't die instantly. Oh, you don't die right away. Okay, that's good. That's good because I put... Ah, I made these things way too far apart from each other. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh. Okay, made these way too far apart. It, it, oh, this this one is really close. Okay, well I sorta did it. Going to make them a little bit lower. I think now it should be. Let me test one more time. Let me test one more time. I don't want to cheat. I don't want to cheat anymore. And then you can jump over to this one. And then you can jump over to this one. And don't fall in the lava. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, that one is hard. That one is hard. But apart from that, it's pretty cool. Wait, what? Did I make a flying thing here? Oops, I made a flying thing. Anyway, I think that challenge is complete, okay? I'm ready for a badge. Let's go. What terrain tool lets you build new terrain? Um, add. Okay, that one was easy. How do you open the terrain editor windows in Roblox Studio? It's from home, isn't it? Home and then editor. Yes. Click editor from the home tab. Yes. What brush lets you quickly remove terrain? Uh, subtract. Set. That's it, you guys. Only one more. And then I finally fairly completed it without cheating. I finally done it fair. So let's let's get to the next challenge. Okay, so things are already falling down and I have to change them. Check it out. It's already raining blocks. That is pretty cool. Except I have to change... Oh, I have to change what blocks are falling down. Okay, you can choose an apple, uh, a bubble or something. An eyeball. <laughs> I think I'll just go with this one. I think I will just go with normal burning rocks. I think I will take those. What, what, how do I How do I do that? This looks so confusing. How do I... Oh, you changed... Oh, you changed it to burning rock. I'm so confused. Okay, so I take this... This burning rock. And I put it in... The storm cloud. Okay, so cube becomes burning 
rock at least that's what it's telling me to do so i'm going to do that oh and i have to paste it into server storage where is server sto this okay we'll just put it in there a burning rock oh there's also the cube okay 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 we're going to make it rain oh wait the burning isn't with a it's with a small b okay burning rock okay now i did everything right test the game and watch burning rocks fall from the cloud <gasps> it totally works do they hurt too let's touch one they, wait, wait, I think I did get hurt a little bit. Yeah, like a really tiny bit. Wait, how much do they hurt? Damage one. Damage one. Okay, so if I make it damage 99, I'm going to make it damage 99 just for fun, okay? I will lose 99% of my health. <gasps> oh my god, it totally worked. It totally worked. Oh, what? Now I'm almost dead. If one more touches me, quick, hide under here. Hide under here. <gasps> hide under here. Ah, uh, cute baby T-Rex. Come with me. Cute baby T-Rex. Okay, I think we are safe because we're no longer under the cloud. Are we under the cloud still? I think actually we are. <laughs> okay, I think I have a name for the cute baby T-Rex, you guys. I have a name for the cute baby Rex. You guys remember when pokemon brick bronze got deleted in pokemon brick bronze i had a toto now it was my favorite pokemon in pokemon brick bronze and my toto down was called chomper and now it's gone forever because pokemon brick bronze got deleted chomper is gone forever so i want to call the little cute baby t-rex chomper what do you guys think should it be called chomper or something else and is it a boy or a girl tell me what you think okay oh here it says how to change the damage <gasps> i was way ahead of the game i was way ahead of the game but yeah i'm going to do the last challenge now you can put tables in other tables was that part of what you said i don't remember true what object holds code a script right a script holds code yes okay what variable type holds information about one specific following of the following of the script? Come again? What variable type holds information about one specific following object? Um, object. It's probably object data or info. I'm going to guess data. Ah, oh, no. No, I got it wrong. It must have been info, maybe? How dangerous is a falling object? Um, damage. Oh, 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 it lagged for a second and then I clicked next. Yes. Okay, so now I really earned my Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom backpack and I've got a little bit smarter. I hope you guys learned something. Uh, if you didn't, go do the event if you have a computer so you can make your own game. Of course, you can always make your own game. So make sure to make some really cool games in Roblox. Um, I guess this is done now. But yeah, I was already wearing my Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom backpack. Uh, cute baby Rex, can you leave for a second so I can show the backpack? I really want to show the backpack, okay? Okay, let's see. It, it, I don't I don't know. It, it, in game, it's actually called Moana backpack. It's actually called Moana backpack because they use the same one. Yeah, maybe I should now play the game from scratch. I didn't actually make a bridge over here. I should have probably made a bridge over here as well. Should I play the game? I guess I should play the game from the start. Okay, so you start on the volcano. You have to escape. You have to save Blue. Okay, come Blue, come. Come with me real quick. The volcano is erupting. Quick, come over the bridge. Come over the ice bridge that I made. Why are these signs made of wood? That's a bad idea. This is a volcano. Okay, come with me Blue. Will you jump? Yes, okay, jump. Uh, blue jumps as well. Oh, she teleports. What? She just teleport. Check it out. There she is. What? She's a bit confused, I think. Come with me, Blue. Oh, I was supposed... I think I was supposed to put these everywhere as traps. And I kind of forgot to do that. Hopefully, Blue will jump, but I think she will just teleport. I didn't know Blue was a wizard. I didn't know you could teleport, Blue. Look at that. She... Oh, no, Blue! <gasps> no! No, Blue! Come with me. Come, come with me. Come... Oh, no. This is not good. This is not... Blue, please don't die. Ugh. Okay, yes. Okay, we're here. You t you're just t you're just cheating, Blue. Blue, you're just cheating. What are you doing? Blue, don't cheat, okay? No cheating. Okay, next checkpoint. Uh, we're almost at the boat, Blue. There's the boat. 
We're almost safe from the island, the volcano. We're safe. We're almost safe. Come on, Blue. <gasps> now we have to save all the other dinosaurs. Th that would be cool if they had more dinosaurs here. Or maybe I have to make those. I guess that's the point. That you get excited about making the game. And that you add more to the game. Okay, come with me. Come with me, Blue Island Escape. Come with me. Last checkpoint. We made it. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, and thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like making games in Roblox. I think it's pretty fun, but I'm really bad. But hopefully now I'm a little bit better. And I really want to be a builder someday. I don't, I'm not really good with the scripts, but building something like making something look cool. You know, I like building. I'm the Lego source. I'm, I like Lego. I like building stuff, okay? Yeah, that's it for this video. So I hope it was not too confusing. I thought it was a little bit confusing because I'm pretty bad at making games. But yeah, I hope you guys still liked it. And apart from that, I hope you have an awesome day. Don't forget to stomp like a dinosaur.